Darling, what is your favorite celebrity memoir? My favorite celebrity would be Miley Cyrus. Oh God, you need to read more. I don't like reading. Now, if you were going to write a memoir about yourself, what would it be called? Uh, Jesus Christ. I call mine Hepatitis Me. I would read that. I would pick that up. Eugene, you are the creator of Celebrity Autobiography. It's my brainchild. This entire evening came out of this head right here. What was the inspiration and why? The inspiration was I came across the book Vanna Speaks by Vanna White, and I grabbed it off the bookshelf. I started reading it out loud to myself, and I thought, if anybody actually could listen to this, if I could have an audience hearing me read this, I know it would be a comic, comic masterpiece. Vanna White talks about how her belt broke on national television. She had to hold on to it and just keep flipping those panels. So it was written very dramatically and in such detail that I couldn't believe that this filled an entire hardcover book. Tonight, we've got, we've got some great ones tonight. We love, for example, the situation. We're going to do Jersey Shore situation. We cannot believe that this guy wrote a book. And tonight... Or read one. Hello, Mike Diamond's audience. I'm Fifi Dubois. How are you? Ew! You ain't gonna meet up a stick. Yes. It's tough, but it's delicious. What's your favorite celebrity memoir? My favorite celebrity memoir? Oh my goodness. Can I give you some showbiz advice? Yeah. Just fucking lie. Just make something up. Patty Lapone. <laughs> I had to pick the gayest person I could think of. That works for me. What's, <laughs> what's her book called? <laughs> oh. Do you know what I love about you? What? You're slightly cross-eyed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for noticing. Actually, it's not, I'm not cross-eyed. One of my eyes is bigger than the other. I don't know which one to, dear. <laughs> Michael Yuri, what brings you here tonight? I'm in the show. You are? It's called Celebrity Autobiography. Can you tell us about that? We read from the autobiographies of celebrities. What's your best read? Um, well, my best read is a look, really. And I re I'll read you with a look. But in the show, my favorite to do, I think right now, is the one I'm doing tonight, which is Ricky Martin. And it's a premiere. Oh. So I'm really excited about it because it's the first time anyone's ever done it. Are you like, well, what's the name of his book, first of all? Me. It's called Me? It's called Me. Not that he's a narcissist. I'm a little hypnotized by this little bit of fringy hair you got right there. Are you? I am. Are you single? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I like you. You like me? You can do me. <laughs> right here in the Foot Fetish Lounge at the Gramercy Theater in New York City. It's called Edge. Edge, baby. That's why it's called Edge, because I'm going to bring you to the brink. <laughs> But I won't let you come. Oh. Unless it's on my face. He's like, oh God, why did I leave the dressing room? <clears throat> I demand a drag queen with chicken satay immediately. What's your favorite celebrity autobiography? Hmm. I would have to say RuPaul's. Of course. You trite, predictable I cow. I am trash and very predictable. There's nothing. I'm, 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 a, I'm a cliche. Look at me. I'm dressed no. like Madonna. No, RuPaul's great. You are dressed like Madonna. You know why? Because mar marriage equality passed yesterday. Except without the orthopedic shoes. Whatever. Darling, you're seven foot two. What's your favorite celebrity memoir? What was your accent before I Kathleen think, Turner's? I think it was Southern, darling. Oh. I don't know, darling. No, what, what was your question, darling? I don't know. Who are you reading tonight? I will be reading the situation. Do you even know who I am? You are that chick from television. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all yes, right. I do. Um, I will be reading the situation. I'll tell you this. It starts friends, bros, countrymen. Darling, the last time we spoke, yes. last time we spoke, we were discussing the cocks of homeless teens. Is that right? <laughs> Let me jog my memory. Yes, that's right. Darling, what is your favorite celebrity autobiography? Oh, <laughs> I'm just taking you in right now. The how many days have I said that on? <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, my favorite one that I read tonight. Yeah. Well, tonight I'm doing Ethel Merman. Word. That's, that's a new one, so I'm I'm excited because it's new. <laughs> Have you ever written a memoir? You know what? This is the best. I'm writing one right now. I don't know if I'd call it a memoir, but I'm writing a book right now. Is I it called Dratch Me If You Can? <laughs> no, but maybe I will. I will use that title. What is the secret to writing a good celebrity memoir? Oh, I think um, a really well make it funny. I hope. Um, don't report like what you ate every day, which is some some of these we're reading tonight. People give really detailed accounts of their day, and that's and the public doesn't really care about that. Gets mocked in a show like this later. What's been your favorite memoir so far to read? My favorite.
it is. Okay, so Burt Reynolds wrote one and Lonnie Anderson wrote one. But then, little known fact, Burt Reynolds' secretary wrote one. And she's my favorite one to do. What the hell because has she got to say? Exactly. That's why it's fun to do. You'll Did you guys do like a dueling thing all three at once? Yeah, exactly. I saw that. Okay, yeah. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite. People, don't miss out on this. It's Celebrity Autobiography featuring celebrities such as Rachel Dratch reading the memoirs of other celebrities such as Burt Reynolds' secretary. There you go. All the stars are coming out tonight and Dallas Dubois. <laughs> yes, I knew it. I Hi. love your hooded look. Thank you. I'm going for Grace Jones meets Julianne Moore. I call it Julianne Whore. Because you're just giving really a foreskin look. That's what I call it. I call this the foreskin dress. My friend Steven made really? it for me. Yeah, he calls it the foreskin dress. <laughs> Dallas, what's your favorite celebrity memoir? Um, Have you ever read a book? No. Uh, I've read picture books. Does the magic eye count? It's a magic eye? Yeah, the Honey, magic I heard eye about book. your magic eye. Oh. It's called black magic, bitch. <laughs> you doing some voodoo? <laughs> Oh, wow! Oh, oh. Um, no, actually, I think that one of my, the funniest ones I've ever read um, was the Suzanne Summers, and the only reason why I read it was because I saw it last year, read here for a celebrity autobiography last year, 2010, and I, it was so funny. I was like, I have to read it. Was it the one about her bioidentical hormones, or was it like the Three's Company era? The Three's Company era. Now, if you were going to write a memoir, what would it be called? From New York to Dallas, a memoir of a man in a dress. I adore that you have a soundbite ready. Sharon, I know you're pressed for time, so I'll make it fast. <laughs> What's okay, popping, mama? Against the wall, spread them. You know the position. You know I will, too. <laughs> Do you have fond memories of Cagney and Lacey, or did you really hate Tyne Daly? Tell me the truth. I love Tyne Daly. I just had drinks with her last night. Oh, so you're saying she's an alcoholic? No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm playing with you. I know. No, we're very, very close. <laughs> Here we are at Celebrity Autobiography. What are you reading tonight? The words I'm about to say outside on stage. Girl, this won't <laughs> for weeks. <laughs> when you write your memoir, what's it going to be called? I'm never going to write it. Glass ceiling? <laughs> oh, good. I good love this woman. <laughs> She's so what is the secret to a good celebrity autobiography? I guess I'd uh, be able to tell the dirt in the most tasteful way possible. Tell me a Hollywood secret. Whisper it in my ear. I won't repeat it. What's that? Tyne Daly's a man? I love it. No. This is Mike Diamond with Sharon did. Glass here at the Gramercy Theater See for a Tyne Daly in master class. Tyne Daly is the bomb. And thank you, Sharon Glass. I worship you. Thank you, honey. Mwah! Hey.